Here I have a serial transmitter and receiver. Uh, these are both receivers and down here I have a transmitter. The idea is that I have these levers which serve as inputs and um, these this series of AND gates and repeaters and this pulse generator over here uh, or edge detector Oops. Um, they transmit the state of each of these levers over a single piece of redstone in sequence so um, for instance if the first bit is on or if this first bit is off the line would the uh, um, serial line would be off uh, then it would be on and on and on and off and off and so on um, I start each transmission with <coughs> a pulse where the redstone line goes on for three ticks and that tells the receiver to start listening um, and then spaced three ticks every three ticks is one bit so for this sequence it would be three ticks on for the start three ticks off three ticks on another three ticks on another three ticks on three ticks off three ticks off and so on uh, this pulse generator generates a short pulse which is expanded to three ticks here and um, this delay is just to synchronize things and each of these uh, torches turns off in sequence as um, as the pulse passes through each repeater so there's a repeater separating each of these AND gates and depending on whether the uh, input on this side is on um, when the pulse signal reaches that AND gate it'll turn the output on um, and that'll power the redstone below which um, provides the output signal uh, right here I have um, I do have 8 bits here um, I'm only using 7 right now I have had it working with 8 but it's kind of a pain because of the 15 block limit for transmitting uh, redstone signals so I have with the <coughs> with uh, 8 blocks or excuse me with 8 bits take 16 blocks um, to implement that and that goes over that limit so I have to add a repeater and that screws up the timing Okay, up here I have the receiver for that, and um, keep in mind these signals are only coming in over this piece of redstone. So, uh, this one wire is transmitting all seven of these states. Alright, um, here I have a pulse generator with a memory circuit, or the RS latch right here. And um, so there's the torch under it, the torch above. Um, and pulse generator and the output of that pulse generator goes um, one place it goes is into these repeaters which um, are each separated by three ticks um, with the exception of this eighth one which has the extra conditions for handling that delay and so every three ticks um, each of these torches is turned off like a normal AND gate would be. Um, this is a slightly different AND gate than normal uh, the normal ones. I haven't seen this used anywhere else. I kind of came up with it to solve a problem of routing things on this. Um, I have the torches on the bottom and then redstone wire on top and the torches below power the redstone wire up here which um, either allows this torch to come on or keeps it off. So if um, if this torch when this torch turns on when the pulse passes it um, and if this torch excuse me when this torch turns off as the pulse passes it and if this torch is off uh, which is the torches on the other side are powered by the input signal uh, these delays just synchronize things so here are um, connections to the other side of the AND gate for each bit And so, as each of these uh, torches turn on and off, as this input signal changes, um, the pulse travels down these repeaters. And when they're both off at the same time, that represents um, a one bit or a true bit being set. And that enables power to 
this uh, memory circuit, this uh, RS latch, which latches in the data. And that's done all the way down the line for each bit. All right, and then this uh, this kind of bridge here is powered from the the pulse generator, and it's used to reset um, each of the bits before the data is clocked in. That just uh, clears out anything that was in there before. I also have um, after the data has reached the end, so after the pulse has traveled, or excuse me, after the pulse has reached the end it gets looped back around and sent back to the um, pulse generator and comes up there and is used to reset the latch on the pulse generator so that way the next time we receive a start bit or the start pulse um, from the transmitter we'll be ready to to generate a new pulse here so the reason for this latch is um, since this is connected to the input signal, we only want it to create a pulse the very first time um, that the input changes. It's so like as soon as that start pulse arrives. We don't want it to generate pulses every time a, you know, a bit turns the line on and off for the inputs. Um, but then at the end, when we've clocked in all the data, then we want to reset it. So that's what that does. Alright, I uh, have another receiver here, which is similar in concept, but I'll discuss that in another video.